Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today is a really gloomy day here in Long Island. So the lighting is a little off, it might look a little blown out, but my lighting is always all over the place. But I hope that you guys are safe and dry. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with y'all. And before I get into the Dollar Tree haul, I am gonna insert the clip from the DIY that I just posted two days ago because YouTube is still not sending everyone who wants to be notified notifications. They just send them on my hauls. So I'm gonna start doing that on my haul videos. I'm just gonna put the clip of my last DIY. So check it out. So I did create this boat, which is also a centerpiece. I will leave the link below in a comment, in the description, and at the end if you want to go ahead and watch that. Please guys do. I'm so proud of it. And if you can, share it. Give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. Let's go ahead and get into this haul. I love all of the things I found. I am going to show a lot of things in stores as well. So the first thing that I was really happy to see were these pink roses. I love this dusty pink. I don't think the camera is picking up the correct shade, but this one is a really pretty soft dusty pink. And then this one is a combination of two, which is really, really nice. Lately I've been using a lot of Walmart's uh, floral and greenery, which is 97 cents. It comes out to the same thing, sort of. And they have really, really awesome stuff, so when you pair the two together, it just takes it to a whole nother level. I also do a lot of Amazon. I haven't used them in crafts, but I do love ordering flowers off of Amazon. Maybe I'll use them in a craft so you guys can see, but I have really, really pretty, pretty flowers from them. So I bought a few of these to put in my giant floral bucket. I showed my floral bucket in a haul once and people thought I was kidding. I, I do look like I sell flowers for a living. The next thing that I purchased and I scooped up a lot of these was more rope. Now this is in the floral section. Sometimes you will find it by the picture frame aisle depending on how your Dollar Tree is set up. Pay attention though because Dollar Tree is starting to get a little sneaky and I have a feeling that this is because they are introducing the Dollar Tree Plus items. They are making some items a little less packed, long, full, I don't know. But this is originally 13 feet and in stores I found some that were just 9 feet. So pay attention if you can find the 13 foot ones. Grab as many of these as you can because a lot of crafts that we use this for, um, you're going to need a lot of rope. I like to use the Walmart rope as well, but a lot of times I like this one because since it's not wrapped up tightly, it doesn't have any of those like weird dents in them. So that's why I really, really love this rope. But if you really do want to save money, just use the one from Walmart or go to any local store. If you have one, hardware stores really do sell rope for great prices. Let's move on to the next item. This I thought was really, really, really cool. I kind of overlook the puzzles a whole lot, but this one just caught my eye as soon as I passed by. And it is an old, I'm going to say it's a VW, but um, Vanagon because there's no other car that looks like that. I love it, especially since lately I've been doing so many boho DIYs. I've been trying to mix it up between the boho and farmhouse, which I kind of put on the back burner a little bit. Nautical. I love this. This is so cute. If you put some Mod Podge on top, or if you put, um, not resin. What do you call that stuff when you set things? Somebody will tell me in the comments. But you can make this really, really cool wall art. So maybe I'll do that in my next boho video. I don't know. But I really love it. And they do have really beautiful patterns. It's also great to buy for kids. Speaking of kids, I found this. I have never heard of this before, to be honest with you. I just thought that maybe this was like a name brand, well-known toy. It's called Lockstars. And it looks like something that you would see at Toys R Us. 
RIP Toys R Us here in the United States. I know that they still have them in Canada, but this definitely does look like something that they'd have hanging off of an end cap at a toy store. Um, so if you guys know if this is name brand or not, let me know. Like I said, I buy a lot of these things so that when Christmas comes around, I can put a little, a bunch of little gift baskets together and take them to a school or do some donations. So hopefully this is something that some kid will appreciate. We'll see. This, <laughs> my stomach cannot handle anymore, I'm sure. But these used to be so good when I was in middle school. And it's the Andes Caps Cheddar Fries. I used to get the hot ones. This reminds me of when I used to take the bus to go to school. My bus lady used to sell this. She used to sell airheads and soda. Everything was 50 cents. Then she bumped it up to 75 cents. <sighs> so I purchased it. Let's see, my stomach is probably gonna hate me for it, but it definitely made me feel like I was back in middle school, riding my bus, listening to inappropriate music while we drove through random neighborhoods. <laughs> Another thing I thought was really, really cool, this is the first time that I see Dollar Tree put these out. Dollar Tree always has glass gems and I use them for everything. I made, I used these when I made that gigantic snowman, which I might make it again this year, but a little better. But these are extra cool because they are nice and big. These are the biggest gems that I've seen at Dollar Tree. So if you do like to make little refrigerator magnets, this is perfect. They're nice and flat, so you will actually be able to see your picture. It just has so much more space. Or if you just wanted to cover a tray or whatever you want, this will work. I've done so many crafts. I made a tray. Um, I use this as a filler for things. I love these gems. Dollar Tree has been stocking so many Arm & Hammer goodies. I love Arm & Hammer. And this time I found Athlete's Foot Spray. This is awesome. Why it's at Dollar Tree, I don't know. Maybe it's not as effective as the other ones. Maybe they just didn't sell well in stores. But I always keep athlete's foot stuff around in the summer for my husband. He has to wear boots at work and you know, you get sweaty and wet. So I keep this around also for myself because it's hot. Your girl's hot. You look at me funny and I start to sweat profusely. Like I don't think I could ever do anything bad because I'd be like <laughs> covered in sweat. So this comes in handy and I'm really, really glad that I found this. I think this is one of the best finds at Dollar Tree right now. They brought these back and I'm so happy that they did because I actually really did enjoy them. And it is the Artist Pencils. So they have them in watercolor pencils, graphite pencils, metallic, and charcoal. So if you are an artist on a budget, these might not be Prismacolor or any brand that you're used to using, but it does get you out of a bind and they have really good reviews. If you search these online, there were people selling them for a lot more money and these actually sell out really, really, really quickly at Dollar Tree and on the website, they went so quickly last year. So I purchased them again because I went through my last pack. They also do have a lot of sketchbooks. They have sketch pads, tons and tons and tons of canvases. I use them in all of my crafts. I actually posted a TikTok video using a canvas and people got so mad that I labeled it dollar store craft because they were like, that's not a dollar store craft. You can't get a canvas at dollar stores and Dollar Tree. Boo boo, you can. So people didn't believe me. Hopefully one day somebody will notice that Dollar Tree does have canvases, but I love them and they're a really good buy. So hooray for artists finally getting affordable things. I know air fresheners are not the best, but somebody sprayed this in the store. It is Angel of Mine Baby Room Air Freshener. I'm not gonna spray this in Aria's room, but definitely in my doggy room when they're not in there. It smells so fresh. It smells like a baby. And that little spray, just like the room, smells really good. Baby Fresh Air Freshener. 
more baby stuff. I got these really cool fleece blankets and these are 30 inch by 30 inch. Now, if you go to the store, they have a ton of different patterns. They have for boys, for girls, neutral ones. I really, really liked the faded buffalo check look. I think that for Christmas, using this as a little tree skirt would be really cool. I'm pretty sure somebody is going to put that out there. Making pillows out of this would be really nice as well. And that is why I bought a few. I was thinking of maybe doing a video of things that you should purchase at Dollar Tree before they're out of season because I've noticed that sometimes in the winter I want to craft using things that are no longer available. They're only available in the summer and vice versa. So maybe I'll do that video. Maybe not. I always say that I want to do certain videos and then time kind of gets ahead of me. This was so cool, so cool. I love that Dollar Tree is putting out these kind of knockoff games because it's amazing. This is the Say It Again game. I don't know the name of the original game, but it's the one where you put the thing in your mouth and you're supposed to read things out and the other person's supposed to guess it. All of these games are pretty pricey in stores. If you've bought board games before, you know. And most of the time you end up losing the pieces anyway if you are playing with kids. So I am super psyched that they have these for a dollar at the dollar store. I bought some a few weeks ago and I gave it to my sister because at her place, Beach House Nutrition, she does have a ton of games out for people who would just wanna hang out while they're having their shake. If you are in the Lynnhurst, New Jersey area, stop by. It is really, really nice in there. So this is something I probably won't give to her because you have to put something in your mouth, but for here, for my home, for Aria and myself, this is really nice. And it does bring 12 card games, one game dice, two mouthpieces, and yeah. So even if you're not going to use this, just for the mouthpiece alone, I know that they do sell the actual game, the brand itself does sell extra ones, and I think they're a little pricey. So if you're just buying it for the mouth guards or mouth whatever there are, this is worth it. Y'all, Dollar Tree does not know what season it is because in my store they already had Christmas stuff out. And that stresses me out as a crafter because right now I'm in the groove. I'm enjoying the summer. I'm enjoying the warm weather. And they're out here putting these little stickers on here which are gorgeous. And of course I purchased them because later on they won't exist but it stresses me out. It also doesn't let you enjoy the season that you're currently in. And right now, even though it is hot, I am enjoying the fact that I can wear looser fitting clothing, even though I am wearing like a little fall shirt today, so. And as I complain, I also purchased these foam beads to use as snow for Christmas crafts. Like I said, it is stressful, but at the same time, I kind of am glad that it's available now so that I can start thinking of Christmas crafts to come up with. I just, uh, yeah, yeah. Right now I wanna enjoy making my boats and my nautical stuff. But thank you Dollar Tree for giving us a little bit of a head start. It's such a love-hate relationship. I sound like a crazy person. Dollar Tree also has a ton of really, really pretty wall decor. I cannot fit any more wall decor up in this house. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what they have. And let me go ahead and show you some of the other stuff that I thought was really cool, but didn't need this time. In the picture frame aisle, they had these beautiful mini plaques and they had beautiful wall art on them. They are so gorgeous and fit a boho theme. I also found these really cool patriotic solar stakes, which are perfect for all of the Memorial Day crafts that just passed and the 4th of July crafts that are coming. For all my slime makers and students, they have 32 ounces of clear and white glue. And of course, more of the beautiful lemon plates and bowls. These kids' accessories are so perfect, as well as these cute little binkies in all sorts of characters. And then they brought back the Never Wet, but they were out of the pack. So instead of selling them together, they're selling them separate, which is kind of sneaky, but it's totally okay if you do like this product. 
that's it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments section what you'll be on the lookout for, what's the coolest thing you've found at Dollar Tree lately, and if you have a chance, don't forget to stop by and check out my boat shelf DIY. If you can, please give me a thumbs up, share it with a friend who loves nautical decor. I appreciate it so much, and I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This makes perfect. Going to the world. Raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs. It is raining cats and dogs. Would you guys click on this video if this was my thumbnail?